Hey guys, we're back with another video, and in this one, we're going to cover AMP mobile technology and more importantly, how to implement this on the client's website. So, uh, the purpose of this video is not really to get into exactly what AMP is, it, is, it stands for Accelerated Mobile Pages. Um, the gist of it is, um, is that it's a Google technology that it was implemented um, in order to speed up websites, specifically mobile websites, uh, the mobile version of a website. And essentially what it does is it stores all of that information on your site on Google's own servers in their cache. And basically what that means is it will just load that website almost instantaneously, uh, especially if they do the search from Google itself. So if someone were to search for your website on their mobile device, they see it in the search results on Google and they tap on it, it loads pretty much instantaneously. And since Google uh, recently switched to a uh, mobile first indexing, it actually just uh, trickles down that uh, the benefit of, of that speed to the desktop version as well. So even if it's a, uh, a non-mobile version of your website that someone is, is looking at in the search results, that still benefits as well just because it's a mobile first uh, indexing now that Google is, is running. So it just benefits your entire website as a whole. Now, of course, the user experience is phenomenal on the mobile device. It's great for uh, the client's rankings, and it's also great just because the, the leads and prospects that see your client's mobile website are going to have a great user experience because it's very fast. It looks great, and uh, you know, speed is everything now. People who uh, have to wait too long to load a website, don't have time for that anymore, and they will just leave and go find someone else's business. Right. So uh, aside from all those benefits, it's also um, pretty simple to implement. And what I'm going to show you, because uh, we essentially just outsource this part of it. And this is going to, going to be the largest expense, certainly in month one that you have. But just know that it's going to make life so much easier for you because it helps rankings more than anything else up front. Um, this is single this is, this is single-handedly the one of the best things that you can do for your client, um, especially in month one, because uh, it has cascading results from month two and three and four, where we start to see almost every client ranking on the first page for their, their keyword terms that we're going after. Um, and rather than me teaching you how to implement AMP, because even I can never do it as precisely as the person I'm about to uh, show you. I have a full-time developer who has spent the last two years just deep diving into AMP technology and not just that, but also mobile speed optimization. So this is, we don't really highlight that fact on, on, on this, but just know that it's more than just AMP. It's also the, the synergy of multiple things coming together to create um, just a really amazing mobile experience, um, both objectively to Google and uh, to the user on a subjective uh, level as well. So, you know, the way that I'm sure that you saw in, in the process to sell this is that Google loves Google and this is a Google based technology. So, of course, <laughs> they're going to love themselves. So what I'm going to do is just bring you over to how I order this service. So I had my my full-time developer set up a gig on his own um, to essentially service you directly. Uh, we set you up with um, different packages based on the uh, the size of the client's website. So you can choose based on that. And um, I believe we also have a coupon code. So again, um, I'm gonna pull the site up here now, but make sure you use the link and also check for the coupon code if we have one still inside of the resources uh, link file, which we've been uh, referencing throughout these videos in order to uh, ensure you get the best deal possible. All right, so I'm going to pull up that website now. Just give me a second. Okay, actually, before I do that, I just want to bring you to this site, which is uh, Google's AMP site. So let me just go back because I threw in the client's website here. And 
the address for this is just search.google.com slash test slash amp. And all you do, and I'm, you know, in every, just about 99.9% .9 of your clients, I promise you will not have this technology, but this is a good resource to have after it's implemented so you can actually just check it for yourself. So all you do is put in the client's URL here, which in uh, the, uh, the client that we're, we're going through here in the series is Color Bright Painting. So I'll just put that in. I already have it typed up. And we will just click Test URL. And this takes a little bit to analyze. And you know, essentially, it's either yes, it has AMP, or no, it doesn't have AMP. And the thing with AMP with AMP is that it's it, it's changing a lot, especially with WordPress. And because of that, you need to stay on top of it because even if you get it working properly in the first month, in month two, there could be some changes that may break some pages. So this is. Uh, it's a key thing to also check Google Search Console, which will actually show you the number of indexed AMP pages you have. And that's one of the things that I love about the uh, the developer and the service I'm going to show you here next, is that he will actually get access to your Google, uh, Google Search Console, and he will ensure that everything is working perfectly between the two, and that the pages are registering as AMP and there's no errors, and that sort of thing. I used to try to do this on my own, um, you know, a couple of years ago when this first came out, and I'd have AMP working, and then a few months down the line, you notice there's pages that are breaking. Um, AMP is in registering in Google Search Console, and they're notifying you that there's some errors and stuff like that. It just got to be too much to keep up with. So, uh, hence the full-time developer on this, and now um, you would get to take advantage of that as well. So let me. Uh, go over to the service now. So you can see this is not an AMP page, no surprise here, um, but just remember this, uh, this little tool to test once you, uh, once you have the service completed. So I'm gonna go over to my other tab. All right, so here is the service and uh, it's using a service called Legit, L-E-G-I-I-T. But again, like I said, use that link um, just to ensure that you get uh, any kind of baked in discount that we have. And you know you can look through this. It's pretty much a very brief version of it because this was only created for for Fusion people because um, you know this is not a service that he sells outside of me. Um, so I basically you know asked him if he could open this up outside of um, of what he does for uh, our agency, so you can actually have this as well. Okay, so we've got a few packages here. We have. Um, the 495, 595, and 795, and it's based on the number of pages. For the particular client that we're going off after here, Color Bright Painting, got about 10 pages. May actually have 11. And you know, sometimes I've gotten away with had the lower price point to um, because the 595 is supposed to cover between 11 and 25 pages. Um, sometimes if it's if it's close to 10, you know, he may let it slide. The worst that could happen is um, he'll message you back and just say, "Hey, you know, you need to order the higher, the higher gig." Um, so that's it. So um, in this case, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and start placing this order now for this client. And uh, so I'm going to select the 495 version, which is uh, up to 10 pages, and it takes about 21 days to deliver. So just remember that uh, you want to order this, you know, sooner rather than later, just because it takes a while to fulfill on this. The the medium package takes 25 days and then the largest one, if you have up to 50 pages, uh, that's going to be 30 days delivery. Um, you know, the developer did tell me that if we have over 50 pages, it's okay, but you're going to have to uh, probably click on custom order or, or email uh, him first, right? So, but in this particular case, I'm going to select the 495 and proceed to order. All right, uh, here is where the uh, promo code will go if you have one. I'm going to pop in one that I have right now. All right, and then I'll click Add to Cart. All right, I can see that I've 
added one earlier, so I'm just going to make sure I only have one order here. So one order, uh, 495. I have a discount applied of 10%. Um, so I will just go ahead and proceed to payment. I'm going to go ahead and use a PayPal account for this. Looks like they're only accepting PayPal right now. Uh, one thing to note for this is that um, I, we always will use a monthly service maintenance for these uh, projects. So essentially it's anywhere between $35 and $50 per client to manage this on a monthly basis. And that will ensure that the page is optimized perfectly for AMP, Google Search Console, uh, the speed is optimized as best as it can be. Um, and there's a bunch of other things that go into it as well. Um, and we happily pay that maintenance fee per client because we're making, uh, you know, plenty of, of margin on that still. Uh, the only thing is right now at the time of making this video, the service legit does not offer a monthly checkout. Uh, I have been informed that they are going to uh, support that feature probably very soon. So when you see this and you go through, uh, this order process, if you see the option to add on a monthly maintenance uh, package, I highly recommend doing that just because it's one less thing if you have to worry about. Uh, because as I said, the, the technology does, does have, um, you know, a love hate relationship with, with WordPress and, and, and any kind of website really where it's always trying, you know, you just need that, that back and forth to ensure the, the two are, are talking together perfectly. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just log into my PayPal account. All right, so what I'll do is I'll pause the video here and I will complete the checkout process uh, just so I can get back to where I have to uh, fill in that information. Okay, so we're back and you can see that I've ordered it. Um, now, in order to begin the order, we actually have to click Start Order, but this is just the summary of what we actually ordered. So I'll go ahead and click Start Order. I need to have some information ready. Okay, so it just says at the top, we require some information in order to begin. Please click Next to see the question. So click Next. Uh, I guess it's just asking you to put something in here to continue. So just put OK and then click Next. All right, so we need to get our website, WP admin, URL, login, and password. Um, this is information you should have in the client information sheet from the onboarding process. So just make sure that you have this information. I'm going to uh, pop in our information here, just for uh, security, I'll lock out the username and password. Um, what I recommend doing is creating a, um, a new user inside of WP admin. Uh, so oh, let me just put the URL in here first. Colored, right? Painting uh, WP admin, uh, the user. So what I did is I created a user with the username legit uh, and assigned administrator access. And then the password, um, I'll paste that in here, but I'm just going to have to block this out to you for security reasons. Uh, and the reason I did that is because um, just to track logins and that sort of thing. Um, and you can always remove access if you need to. But again, so we, since we keep this person on as a uh, full-time developer, essentially for each client, we, we let them have access in order to maintain and uh, but we allow them to keep this access in order to uh, just update and make sure that everything is running smoothly, as I said, um, in the monthly maintenance package. All right, and then go ahead and put in the FTP, FTP login info here. If you don't have it right away, um, get with the client and try to get that information because that, that will help uh, accelerate the process. Uh, there are some cases where he may, the developer may not need it, but in, in, in many cases, he will need that information. So uh, just get that FTP information. Uh, to to that client as quickly as possible, or excuse me, from that client as quickly as possible so you can give it to the developer to begin. All right, so I'm just going to put that information in here. All 
All right, and then you just want to check this box that the information you provided is accurate and complete. And once you're happy with that, go ahead and click Save. And now if you click on uh, Manage Orders, you can see that you've ordered the service and it's in progress. And just uh, you know, pay attention to any notifications you may get via email, which uh, you'll be notified via email if you get messaged internally with this, uh, this software, this platform. If the developer has any questions uh, of you in order to, to fulfill on this. Uh, but like I said, on average, it takes about 21 to 30 days. And this is one of the best things you can do uh, for, your, for your client because not only will it make his mobile website look better, it will actually help you look like a superstar when the rankings start really picking up big time um, in month two and month three for sure. Okay, so that's it for this video. I will see you in the next one.